Friday morning, hot diggity dog. We're finishing up our projects in town, ready to go to Cairn Creek. Let's take it up in the air to show you what we're gonna do today. When we purchased this place almost three years ago, this property had no infrastructure at all. So we started here at the road, brought it back to the camping area. We brought power and water. Now as our processes out here have grown expansionally, always something going on. We've had to extend the electric and water down to the horse barn, to the mill shop. But today's video is gonna concentrate more on something else. We have this gas line that intersects the property that has caused us no problems. However, today's a little different. We've gotta cross that gas line with utilities. We've gotta get a water line back to the golf green. Now also, the reason we're putting this two inch in back through here, Kim and I have a future home site picked out back in this area. Now there's a couple other areas we're considering too. However, we're gonna go ahead and get this water line installed back in this area. And today's major task is crossing this gas main. This is a 10 inch gas main that feeds the whole city of Chilcothy. All right guys, day four. Back in action, like I said, this is Friday. Friday freaking morning is fantastic at Cairn Creek. Let's show you what our first task at hand is gonna be. This property, when we bought it, it's been here forever, it has a gas main, a transmission line that transfers gas from the main facility to the local town of Chilcothy. That intersects our property diagonally. I've got the two inch wire line right now, stubbed off. So no big deal, right? Just get in the track hoe, dig across this gas line. Well, it's not that easy. The gas company is very critical anytime you mess around their line, obviously. They don't want to take a chance of getting ruptured or because you'd shut down the whole town. So the repairs, the safety of the issue would be just crazy. Hello. What are you doing there, big time? I'm making a video, man. Yeah, I thought you were making money. I'm on vacation. All right, a short delay. That was Nathan calling from out of the woods. Got to keep him straight down in Tennessee. So back to the point we was talking about. We've got to cross this gas main, this transmission line. Gas company guys are going to be on site. Pretty much like we got real inspectors today. We might have Rondo the inspector and the gas company here inspecting two inspectors at once. I don't know. We'll see. But he should be coming soon. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the track up here in position get to dig or at least get started basically they got a 50 foot easement anytime i dig around that 50 foot easement they got to be on site to make sure we don't compromise their line in any way friday at karen creek raise the roof well there's the wire line we got to hook on to that going up. i guess logically speaking i should have shut that off first but the guy from the gas company is late. I just I got a little more aggressive each each bite. So now we're gonna turn the water off. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Water leak diverted. I love horses. So there's, it's a 12 inch main. As soon as that inspector left, that trench collapsed. Oh, it's way too much shovel, so I'm gonna have to, I shoveled my tail off just getting started on a tunnel underneath. So now I'm gonna have to bring, probably just bring the mini hoe up, come across the trench this way, try to dig that out so we can start getting some pipe in.
I know I'm being very lame today. It's Friday. I just can't get them in yet. It's almost lunch time, so hopefully I'll get some lunch. We gotta run back to the main shop to get some parts for the plumbing. And then hopefully when I get back, the spirits will be up and we'll start having some fun. This place is a disaster. It's a complete disaster. Tuesday, I believe, when I first put that bucket in the ground, I said something like, We're gonna make one heck of a mess here at Karen Creek starting right meow. Yeah, that's what I said. And here it is. It's a mess. All right, let's go. All right, guys, I'm back from town with all the parts we need to get this baby going, going forward. I told you when I got back, I'd be more excited. Do you mind if I wait till I'm done with this part? After I'm done with this part, then we'll get excited. When I'm making these videos, I guess sometimes I take for granted some of the things I do and I don't explain them, but this is a, a slip joint fitting. So it's got these rubber gaskets inside. That's why I had to taper that edge. If you've got a crisp edge, it won't go in. They're, they're hard to get in even when you taper that edge. But we basically taper that edge and we'll be able to pound this on. And that's all it holds it on. It's just uh, we'll probably put a blocking behind here so it don't want to push it out. And I use cooking oil. That's my lubrication's cooking oil, Pam. I, I spray Pam on it, and that gives it enough lubrication to usually slide right on. So we're gonna try it. Come on. Can you still see my butt in the way? I'll we'll have to use a shovel, give us a little help here. There it went. A little taparooski. All right, that piece is in. Something else. On that last video, after I watched it, I didn't explain, but I just used a crescent wrench. That's my weight to pull the string through the conduit. So I hold the conduit up, and I just drop the crescent wrench in. Goes to the other side. The power company will use this little string to pull their rope through. So they just use this to pull rope through, then they use their rope to pull the wire through. you live from the Cairn Creek waterline trench. That little valve box I just made up, you saw that, that's uh, that'll be pretty handy to turn that water on and off. That particular valve I used, I do not like using those valves. Those are the cheapest ones, but a good valves, uh, four or 500 bucks that I'd like to use on commercial jobs. I'm bleeding, I'm hemorrhaging here at Cairn Creek. This project, this whole project thing is just getting out of control. So I had to keep the finances in check a little bit. So we went with the cheaper valve. It's gonna work, but what happens with those is over several years, probably the T-handle the will get weak and break. It can still be turned on and off. It's just a little trickier to do it with this nice big valve box. We'll make it happen one of these days. If not, uh, YouTube's make a lot of money and I'll be able to replace this with a $500 valve. Come on. You guys have been with me all week. This was four days of video and four days back to back. A lot of digging. I uh, apologize for that. It probably got monotonous watching me just dig and do these trenches. Tomorrow's video about the concrete uh, probably won't be out till next week. We've got a couple things to do this weekend and get some good content. It'll be out next week. Um, but all you guys that's uh, you know watched all week, I really appreciate it. Uh, don't be afraid to leave some comments. Maybe you have comments about this concrete we're doing tomorrow. And if you comment tonight, early in the morning, there's something I might be able to show you. To be able to get that feedback and and correlate it to to explain it in the next video tomorrow um, the comments really help sometimes i feel like nobody's watching i get to see the analytics and everything and right now our percentage is up to 75 percent so it means people starting to watch and watch a good bit of them uh you know 75 percent of the the video is viewed by you guys and that's awesome 
but don't ever be afraid to leave comments to tell me what I've done wrong or uh, you know we're not an educational channel so I'm not really helping you complete any task at your place but hopefully you get some encouragement from seeing us do this out here we're living a dream that's for that going sure and as long as I'm willing and able and can financially afford it projects will never cease to exist out here so guys if you hung with us all this week hopefully you watched these in order i know people's catching up getting mixed up a little bit because we had so many videos this week but i appreciate everybody tuning in basically you got to see our infrastructure get improved get extended to have the ability to have the water and power on the other side of the creek down at the bottom taking it back to the back we still have 1300 feet of water line to do this week we've got on the trailer we're going to get it done but not today probably not tomorrow it's time to get ready for that concrete in the morning so yeah friday evening Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for working with us. Karen Creek, over and out.